Hello everyone, myself Padmaja, Associate Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Now, today we are going to discuss about types of user-defined functions in C language. Now, depending on the presence of arguments and written values, the functions can be categorized or can be written in four ways. So, the first category is called functions with no arguments and no written value. Second one is called functions with no arguments and with written value. The third category is called functions with arguments and no written value. And the fourth category is called functions with arguments and with written value. So, there are four different ways of writing the same function. So, let us discuss one by one how to write the function using each of these categories. Now, let us first discuss about functions with no arguments and no written value. That means, whenever you are, you, are, you have you are doing the interfunction communication, that means the calling function is not sending any arguments or parameters to the your called function and the called function after execution returns no value to the calling function. So, this is called the first type or first category. So, function with no argument means the called function does not receive any parameters or arguments from the calling function and function with the no return value means the calling function does not receive any data from the called function. So, that means you can simply say there is no data transfer happens between the calling and the called function. Now, let us understand through one example. Suppose we want to find out the square of the area of a square. So, how to do it? Suppose area is a function, area is a function which which passes nothing and which receives nothing. So, here the written type is void and the argument is empty. Now, from the main function, you are simply ca calling the area function and this function call, as soon as the area function is called, the control jumps to the area function to execute that function. Now, here we are not receiving any, no arguments is there. So, the, the calling function has not passed any arguments. So, here, so, we are, we are reading the side of the square and then we have to compute the area of the square. So, first read the value of the square sides and then compute the area by multiplying your side into side. So, square side into square side. So, that is the area formula to find out the area of the square. So, here only we are displaying the area of the square. That means, this function area function is not returning anything to the calling function. Simply the control goes to the calling function and the program stops there. So, this is called function with no arguments and no return value. The second category of function is functions with no arguments but with return value. Functions with no argument means the, the called function does not receive any arguments or parameters from the calling function but functions with return value means the calling function will receive some data from the called function. Now, let us see how to write. Now, we are taking the same example to compute the area of the square. So, in this case, your area in the function definition, you can see that the function prototype, the area function which returns the value which is of type integer but takes no arguments. So, here we want to receive the value from the called function. So, we have declared one variable to receive the area. So, square area we are going to receive and we are calling the function without any arguments. So, no arguments are passed. Now, as soon as the call is made, the function, the control jumps to the area function and starts executing. So, here let us read what is the side of the square and after that compute the area by multiplying its side, side into side will give you the area. So, after getting the area of the square, let us do not print here and return back to the calling function by using a written statement. So, return the area of the square. So, the control returns that area and that variable will be stored by this square underscore area variable and that is displayed in the main function. So, here the type of communication that happens is called upward communication actually. 
So here in upward communication, the calling function will not pass. This is your calling function. It is not passing any argument, but the called function is returning some value to the calling function. This is called upward communication that happens in this technique. Then the third technique is functions with arguments and no return value. So the function will accept data from the calling function as there are arguments. But since there is no written type, nothing will be written to the calling function. It is also one way type of communication. So this type of communication is also known as downward communication. That means the calling function will be the 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 data will be accepted by the, the data will be passed as an argument by the calling function, but no data is received from the call function. So let us see the example. So here we are, you can see here area in the function prototype, area is the name of the function. It receives nothing, so void. It returns nothing, so void type, but it is receiving the side, side of the square. So you declare a variable square side, and read the value of side of the square and while calling the function pass it. So we are passing one argument here and this argument is received by this called function. So here you can see the diagram this is our calling function and it passes one argument to the calling to the called function but it returns nothing. So one argument is passed. So this is called your downward communication. Now here, after receiving the side of the square, it is computing the area and displaying here itself in the function itself without returning any value to the calling function. Now the last category is called function with arguments and with return value. So functions with arguments and with return value means both the calling function and called function will receive data from each other. That means the calling function is going to pass some argument or parameter to the called function and in the similar manner, the called function will return the written value to the calling function. This is called two-way communication or inter-function communication also. So both the functions are going to exchange information between each other. So it is just like a dual communication. So let us see this example. So here in this example, area is the name of the function. It is going to return the integer type of value and it is going to receive the arguments. So here first read the side of the square and pass it. So the area function is going to get one argument. One argument is passed here. And this argument is received by the your call function. And then it computes the side of the, the area of the square by multiplying side into side. And then it returns the area of the square. That return value is received by the calling function. And then it displays. So here it is your calling function. And here it is your called function. You can see the diagram. Then calling is passing arguments and called is returning the values, the return value. So both way data exchange is going on. This is called the dual communication or interfunction communication. Thank you so much. In this video, we have learned about what are the different ways of writing the same function. So four different ways of writing the function we have learned through examples. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.